Hello everyone, and welcome to another Company Heroes 2 replay cast. My name is ATR, and today we will be returning to the grandiose fields of Angoville. Our heroes today, of course, are still going to be Mr. Cruz, who this time around is playing as the US forces in the blue. And his opponent, of course, is still going to be Mr. Paul A.D., playing this time around as the Ostir or Wehrmacht faction in the red. So, we saw, spoiler, last game, Mr. Paul A.D. lose a uh, pretty good match against Cruz, and, uh, and that was uh, Cruz's OKW. So, now we see... Uh, Sorry, not, not Chris. Uh, well, yeah, Chris is OKW. We last saw Paul using uh, the Soviets, so they flip around. So both players sec selecting completely different uh, factions. So we now got the US against the Ostir, and we will see if Paul D can take his Ostir play to the next level and uh, get himself a win. So he's hoping that he can actually do that because he is opening a Tier 1 Gren. And then following it up with a sniper. Very quick sniper. Not the quickest, of course. Could have gotten the sniper first before the Gren, but that is still pretty ridiculously fast. Cruz, for his part so far, has gotten himself two rifles on the field and a additional rear echelon squad. So there's a lot of infantry for that sniper to shoot, but right now that sniper is unsupported, so it is relatively uh, risky. Still, though, it has ample time to get the hell out of there and just continuously shoot at stuff. Over on the right-hand side, though, we do see the rifles holding up inside the house as they're engaging the Grens. Grens out in the open. They do capture the point and get themselves inside the, um, well, not the side, but on the heavy cover, although they decide to retreat. Sniper does take a shot, but misses, as remember, there is a 50% chance to miss units inside of houses. So it is a decent counter to getting sniped. Essentially the same thing as retreating. But for now, we see Cruz just building more rifles. Going to be uh, getting a lot of more infantry on the field. And we'll see if that sniper actually uh, well, does anything. We do have two grand squads on the field now, so the sniper has a decent amount of infantry to support. As long as it's sitting behind those uh, grands, the sniper will continue to pick off infantry and will turn those engagements very quickly in the favor of the grands. Conscript squad, I mean not conscript, rifle squad does go and trying to nail the uh, the sniper, managing to nick it a little bit, it takes a little bit of health damage, but doesn't manage to get the kill, so the sniper continues to push, and the rifles on the left hand side are forced to retreat as the Grens, well, I mean they're able to withstand against them, especially with the support of a sniper. Far left hand side, we do have a pile squad behind enemy lines, they do capture the uh, munitions and are now going to go for that rear echelon squad they're trying to capture the fuel but they get themselves on top of the point denying them the ability the ability to cap sniper is on the field taking some more shots so the rear echelons are quickly forced to retreat as even a grand squad was coming down on top of them utility car has been you know reworked so that it's essentially a natural counter to snipers pretty much every faction now has one with the recent patch so it was the utility car for the u.s for the Ostir, it was the um, the 222. For the OKW, it was the Kuvelwagen. And for the Brits... Sorry, the, the, the Soviets, it was the Scout car. And for the Brits, it was the, the carrier. The... What was it called? The Universal Carrier. The US also have a second one if you go for the Doctrine that gives you the Dodge. I don't think they have it here right now. Um, but yeah, like, uh, the dodge drug that you can get, I forget what the hell that doctrine is called, or commander's called, but, uh, but yeah, if you go with that one, you can also, uh, utilize that one as a sniper counter, essentially. So, rifles pushing heavily on the left-hand side, running up on a grand squad, managing to get themselves shot by the sniper, but they do force away the grands. Pyos do capture the strategic point before having to retreat, they have to run the gauntlet through a lot of rifles. Sniper is no longer in position to take any shots, as it is, again, unsupported and wants to have a nice buffer of Gren meat in between itself and whatever it's shooting, just to make sure that, you know, nothing gets on top of it, but now we actually see breaking that rule and pushing forward by itself. Taking some shots, but getting itself shot up, it does cloak in the uh, brush, gonna take a shot, get another hit on that rifle squad. Now it's gonna get focus fired here and may actually die, now it's fine, it's fine. It takes a little bit of damage, but it's fine. And back at base we do see the bunker going down, with a med bunker gonna be coming up very, 
very quickly behind it. Tier 2 also coming down for Paul AD, so teching up relatively quickly, five minutes in. So we'll see what he ends up going for, as back at base we see Cruz getting himself a captain, so he's not going to be trying the utility car approach to try and uh, run down that sniper. He's instead just going to go with, I guess, whatever he had in mind and, you know, hopefully kill the sniper at some point. Rifles pushing aggressively on the right-hand side. That's a lot of rifles shooting at that Grand Squad. Grand Squad may be going down here. The Captain getting its SMG shots very close range. Can they finish off the Grand? The Grand is currently running, but the rifles are focusing fire. There goes the volleys, and down goes the Grand Squad for Mr. Polity. So as good as the Sniper is doing with well, eight kills so far, you know, not, not amazing. He does lose a Grand Squad, which uh, puts him in, you know, less than ideal situation. Um... Uh, Grand Squad is getting replaced. Nothing from Tier 2 so far. Back at base, though, we do see the pack howitzer getting built for Mr. Cruz. An excellent choice. We've seen the pack howitzer and the infantry support gun doing rather well, although the infantry support gun seems to be the uh, the king right now. And on the right-hand side, we just have infantry peppered around, not moving forward, just uh, making sure that they are covering their areas. Far, far left-hand side, rear echelon squad going for the munitions point as the victory point has been decapped. 450 to 491, I mean, doesn't really matter at the six-minute mark unless somebody has been sitting in the triple cap all this time. But since that hasn't happened, you know, it doesn't really make too much of an impact. Rifles, rear echelons, and even the captain moving over to the left-hand side. Grand squad forced to quickly retreat. Sniper is currently all the way back at base, getting healed up by the med bunker, deciding, you know what, it's fine, it's just a flesh wound, I can still shoot, I have my rifle. Let me go ahead and kill some Soviets, some Russians. Left-hand side, rear echelons and rifles moving forward. There is a pio squad only there, so nothing really that can stop it. Rifles on the right-hand side running into some Grens. The Grens did have an LMG, so they win the engagement. And we now have a total of four Grens on the field for Paul AD, and still nothing from his Tier 2. It's interesting that he decided to go for the Tier 2 and not build anything. I'm assuming it would have been better for him to not get it at all. Although, you know, Tier 2 always helps to have, because, you know, later on in the game you'll probably want to have pack guns. But, you know. Could have essentially saved himself those resources right now for something else, but we'll see what ends up happening. Far right-hand side, Grand Squad going for the cap. More Grens, and I'm assuming even more Grens. Capturing all the territory all over the place. Pack Howitzer taking some shots into the center strategic point there. Trying to nail the Grens, but the Grens are not getting hit. But we also see Cruz getting himself a steward. And because of the steward, we also see the pack gun coming down for Paul. Although I, don't, I wouldn't say because, although <laughs> that's kind of implying something else. But we see the pack gun coming down for Paul, and it's just in time because his steward will be hitting the field a couple seconds before it. Paul has selected his doctrine. That is the close air support doctrine. A very strong doctrine. We've seen it used a long time before. A lot of times before, I mean, not a long time. And, uh, yeah. Grand's on the right-hand side, getting quickly swarmed here by the infantry. Going to be forced to retreat. Paul is going to be redistributing resources to get himself munitions. And, uh, I'm assuming with that he is currently going to be, yeah, he's going to be utilizing the munitions upgrades to get his Grens, uh, all equipped with LMGs. Back Howitzer getting some good, no, not really, it actually landed behind it looks like. Oh, I think it did hit, it's kind of weird though. Pack Howitzer though taking some shots into the house, Grens forced to retreat and they do get the hell out of there. And they get their shiny uh, LMG. We see the LMG on that one. This one does not have an LMG yet, but it could. It's about to. Let's see. If, is he actually doing that? I'm assuming he's going to do that, though. That's why you would redistribute resources simply to uh, fuel all that and make sure your infantry is in the best of shape. Doctrine selection for Cruz, and that is the infantry company. So he's going to be starting uh, to lay down some mines. That's M5 mines. Stewart now on the field, moving up, taking some shots into the Grens inside the house. The Grens do, of course, have access to Faust. They can Faust if they want to, though there's not really any follow-up. The pack gun was cancelled for Paul AD. It didn't actually get fielded at all, and he is having to rebuild it once again. I suppose he was doing the old thing about building it and cancelling it if you don't see that you need it, and then starting to build again. And Stewart came out before that, but I guess, you know... Paul wasn't actually aware of that, so 
he cancels it, builds something else, gets another Grand Squad, and then it's like, oh, okay, well, now I need the Pac-Man. Which is fine, I mean, the steward didn't actually do anything. Still zero kills, so wouldn't really have impacted much of anything at this stage. Grand's on the left-hand side, they're gonna go for the strategic point as we see a steward bearing down on top of them. Steward is gonna get Fausted, I can only assume here, as the Grand's turn them sights on it. There goes at the front, Faust is going to get shot, there goes the shot and gets a crit on the engine, and the Grins are forced to retreat. Behind them, Pio Squad is there. There's no follow-up, so it's just a uh, almost a defensive snare. You snare it and then retreat, because you want to make sure that you can get out of there alive. And I get chased down by the steward. So back at base, Grins moving out. All the Grins equipped with their LMGs now. Hell, even the Pios could get upgraded with something if they wanted to. And on the right-hand side, Rifle Squad getting shot down by those uh, Grins. Quickly forced to move out of the way. Pack Howitzer still doing what it can. Hasn't actually nailed a single hit so far. It's being kind of mediocre. Getting some shots into houses and things like that. Splash damage. So, you know, it's doing something, but nothing too much. Sniper has gotten 14 kills so far. Continues to nail into the... Uh, the rifle's there, and uh, the captain over on the left-hand side also forced to retreat as he uh, trying to capture points. Sniper not really going to... Uh, wait, oh, so over here. I was like, oh my god, he's making another? Did he lose it? No. Polity is just simply making a second sniper because the other sniper retreated back to the base. Stewart catching a grand squad on the retreat. Can he actually finish it off? Seems unlikely, but he's sure as hell going to try. Packon is set up there to stop the steward from approaching. The steward, being very aware of its surrounding or its current situation, decides to stop without exposing itself from that house. Rear echelon in the north popping up. Spawning the Pios, and the Pios are going to get eaten up here by the steward because the uh, rear echelon is able to actually spot if there's a, uh, an AT gun moving in its direction. Second sniper now on the field. Shots flying at the rear echelons. The rear echelons are going to be able to make it out of there. Let's put another hotkey on that sniper. One and two. Make sure we uh, know where they are at all times. And on the left-hand side, we see Grants just pushing aggressively to capture territory. And they're going to go for the victory points. Victory points are 444, 409. Nobody's game. Polity currently losing, but it's only about 40-point difference, so nothing really significant. Pack Howitzer. Hey, got a kill, finally. Rifles on the left-hand side, gonna be running into that yellow house. Gonna be duking it out from window to window to the Grens, but the Grens do have the upper hand as there's only two windows in this direction. And the, uh... Well, I mean, these guys, guys think they can still shoot? No, they can't. Uh, and they have an LMG, so the Rifles will eventually lose, but for now, they're gonna sit there. Snipers also taking some shots into the house, it looked like, but not doing too much. And on the far left-hand side, the steward is gonna get uh, shot there at these Grens. Grants getting suppressed as they get pack howitzered and the steward unable to finish them off. Rifle's gonna try their best, but it's a three-man squad. Gonna chase it down a little bit, getting some more damage in there, potentially doing a little bit more mind power damage if it kills another member. Yeah, it does, there it goes. But it won't finish up this squad. Second grand squad is in the way. Snipers now in tandem, getting some nice volleys going on those rifles. Rifles down to three men. Pack howitzer taking some shots in that direction, but really hitting only the grands. And oh, snipers double shotting and executing the rifle squad. Cruz leaving them there a little bit too long. Maybe not even aware that the sniper was the actual thing shooting at them, thinking he had a little bit of time with only three members left. LMG is getting equipped on the rifles, though. These uh, The other rifle squad didn't have it, but this one here does. Is it only one or two? It looks like two. Yeah, two of them. So, yeah, that is, of course, with the uh, infantry company. You get access to these things, and, uh, yeah, I mean, rifles are going to get very powerful with all those LMGs, although, you know, now they're, uh, they're down one squad, I guess. AT gun does get produced for Cruz, just making sure that he's covering his bases in case anything comes here for Paul Eddy. But, well, considering the Doctrine... I don't think anything is actually going to come from Paul ID. I mean, I guess he could potentially field a 222 or a half crack if he so desired. But, I mean, the with the Doctrine selection, he's probably just going to go straight for, um, what's it called? Uh, uh, well, I mean, he did escalate to Battle Phase 2 already. So we may see Tier 3. I'm just saying, though, considering the Doctrine selection... He's going to be dumping his fuel into redistribute resources, so he's not likely to field any uh, vehicles, at least not any heavier vehicles. 
Uh, but yeah, considering he went Battle Phase 2, I'm assuming, though, he's gonna try and get that. Nice little uh, anti-infantry strafe getting called in on top of everything. There goes the barrage. Nothing to, in, as far as damage goes. And it just to pin down the rifle squad and a rear echelon squad, which is going to get a Gren and a flamethrower on top of them. So they end up having to retreat. They were trying to hold off and come back into the fight, but no, it didn't, didn't really happen. AT gun and pack howitzer, though, do move out of the way and manage to uh, stay alive. Captain on the left-hand side going to be capping some territory. We do still have those snipers. Five kills and 17 kills so far. They seem to be moving in this direction to try to combat the captain. Pio squad getting produced. I guess he wants supers. Seems likely. And we see the infantry once again moving back out onto the field for Cruz. He has LMGs, but they're currently going to the left-hand side. There's a squad behind with LMGs, but the ones in the front aren't currently equipped. We do see the steward coming up for a flanking run on the Grens. Getting up behind them, gonna be running in their way. Faust will be going off by that Gren squad, although it's risking itself getting killed. Down to two men, very low in health. Can they manage to make it out of there? It looks like they might. Oh, another shot flies. Down to one man, but it looks like it's enough to get them out of there. Flamethrower bursts continue to go off into the uh, rifles out in the open. Pile squad in here. Not gonna do too much. Grens in position to shoot another Faust. He's gonna get that Faust going. And with the pack gun right there in position, that Steward is a goner. Shot flies, gets a nice hit. Steward may be popping its crew out at the last second. No, decides not to risk it and not give anything. And the Steward goes down for Cruz. As Cruz loses his things. Major getting called in. We see another anti-infantry strafe on top of all of the infantry. There goes the pin down on everything. A little bit of damage, not too much. Getting suppression going on that rifle squad, but the rifle squad does have LMG. Seems to be only a one LMG though, so it's not a lot of damage. Grants inside the house though do get brought down to two men. Major still taking some damage there as it's pinned down out in the open. But we do have the ambulance nearby for uh, reinforcements and potential heals. Rifles popping into the house. Their LMG going to be doing a lot of damage here to the Grants. The Grants putting themselves into some heavy cover to delay. The pack howitzer shot. Oh, nails the truck. Man, just to not hit the other guys. Snipers still alive. 9 and 20 kills so far. Shots continue to fly. The truck taking some more damage, potentially getting killed sooner rather than later. Grand squad moving up and decapping the strategic point. I'm not entirely sure why he goes for this point. What is the significance of this point? I mean, it doesn't actually cut off anything considering that this strategic point over here is currently connected. I mean, if it wasn't, I guess it would cut off the fuel right away, but it's not what it's doing right now. But I guess these Pyos could potentially come up to do that afterwards, so maybe. Pack Howitzer taking some shots onto the Grens over here on the left-hand side. Rifles and rear echelons trying to get in the way. Rifle grenade flies, but misses. Oh, Pack Howitzer nails a good shot, but the Grens instantly retreat before it hits. And they manage to make it out of there just fine. Rifles with their LMGs pushing forward. Pyo's gonna go for the uh, the fuel, and the rifles are gonna be forced to recapture this point in the back. Pack outs are an AT gun moving in that direction. Captain also moving in that direction. Rear echelons grabbing some weapons. Rifles grabbing some weapons. And the snipers just moving up, taking some pot shots at the infantry. Gonna be quickly clearing out squads if they don't, uh, you know, focus. Major did get veteran C2. Cool thing that could be done there for Cruz is setting up, you know, the Major, like, around over here. That would actually lock down that territory so that he doesn't get cut off. Still, though, I mean, wouldn't really do too much for him, but it's a nice little thing that he can do. Grand's on the left-hand side, pushing very... Pushing? Yeah, pushing very aggressively with the uh, snipers behind them for support. AT gun and pack howitzer being forced to back off as all the infantry is also retreating from the left-hand side. We see the rear echelon... Trying to capture the point. The Major nearby. Not actually doing too much. We do have mines laid down there for Cruz. He's going for the fuel point instead. Grants getting caught there by the LMG uh, rifle. So that this squad only has one LMG. And the snipers. Almost killed off a rear echelon squad it looks like. 25 and 12 kills so far. So yeah, the snipers doing a lot of work. Pack Howitzer, taking some shots into the left-hand side, shooting at the strategic point over here, but there's nothing there anymore. Grens have moved back and are currently covering the uh, victory point. 
Rifles capturing the victory point at, at the front. Sniper is now focusing on the Major. The Major may be getting killed here. One shot flies, the Major retreats, and it looks like he's going to make it out of there just fine. Rifles behind them trying to capture that victory point. Victory points 400 to 338. You can see this guy trying to plank, but not exactly doing it. He's doing a great job at hanging there, though. So, you know, good job there, but kind of needs to be a little bit more straight for the plank. Anyways, Grand's on the left-hand side. Not really going to be able to do too much against all these uh, infantry, but with an anti-infantry strafe, he's going to be able to lock down all this... Ooh, actually, no. All the infantry manages to move out of the way. A nice dodge there for Cruz. The strafe run goes by. Doesn't even get a suppression going on any of the squads. And Cruz is able to just simply pop back out. Snipers, though, are going to be moving in that direction. Going to be trying to rectify the situation. The rear echelons are the first squads in range. They're going to take a volley there. There goes one. There goes two. And the snipers are getting shot back at a little bit. As we have the uh, AT gun and the howitzer nearby. Shots continue to fly. The captain currently being focused there. Oh, nasty shot there. Hits the uh, the captain himself, killing and taking out the Thompson submachine gun for the squad. Pack gun, AT guns. Well, pack howitzer, really. An AT gun moving back. A lot of infantry in range. The rifle's pushing forward. The sniper's not currently getting focused by the pack howitzer. I mean, the pack howitzer really is the one that can potentially clear out a sniper. Because these snipers... Are definitely not gonna die here for Paul AD unless he like really messes up with them. I mean, he always has a uh, meat shield in front of them in the form of the grenadiers, and uh, you know keeps him on the move. So very difficult to do that. Major and rifles on the right hand side trying to hold the line by themselves, not really having too much luck doing that. Do have a Sherman on the field for Cruz, which is good, but we also have a Panzer IV coming out for Paul AD. So yeah, I mean, that's what he was going to be able to field, essentially. He had his uh, Tier 3 go down. Going to get a Panzer IV. I'm probably not going to be field anything anything other than that. As long as he can keep it alive, that's pretty strong, especially with all those uh, those uh, Collins, those uh, off-map abilities, I suppose. So snipers continue to move up. They're currently retreating as they seem to maybe have taken some damage, but they're okay. They make it out. Grenz on the left-hand side. Shooting down some uh, rear echelons with LMGs, managing to, uh, well, stay alive, really, is the only one I want to say. Panzer IV on the right-hand side. Needs upgrading with the uh, MG42 gunner. Not exactly needs it, but, you know, it helps out quite a bit against the infantry. Panzer IV is pretty good against infantry already, I mean, compared to other bigger tanks. Uh, well, not bigger tanks, because you have things like the Ice 2 and the Tiger, which is shred infantry. But you know what I mean, like, for a main battle tank, it's actually pretty good, you know, against infantry. It's not an anti-tank tank, it's not a panther, you know, that can do a lot of damage with the MGs, but not with the main gun, really. So Sherman catching the uh, Garens on the retreat, getting a good shot on one of them, but it's going to run itself straight into the Panzer IV. Panzer IV does have the upper hand, as the Sherman is currently loaded with, um... With explosive rounds, so even though it's getting some good shots and almost clears out that Grand Squad, it's not able to really fight back against the Panzer IV. Snipers still on the field. 31 and 17 kills so far. They're currently pushing over to the left-hand side and going to be running into the uh, into the infantry. Pack Howitzer is getting some good shots in there. Could potentially nail the sniper, but it's more distracted into shooting at the uh, the Pios. Rifle's pushing forward, down to one man. That squad is going to go down. So, ooh, sniper hits retreat. Sniper misses its shot, and it manages to uh, push back. Sniper takes a lot of damage, down to low amounts of health, but it stays alive, and the Panzer IV is just eating the infantry alive. Rifle squad forced to retreat. Rear echelon squad forced to retreat. And the Grens hold the line as the uh, Sherman back here. I'll need some repairs. Does get upgraded with... Not upgraded, but it loads uh, the uh, armor-piercing rounds, which... Still actually get a nice hit on that Grand Squad down to one man, almost kills it off. But, um... But now, it's switching over to, uh... To high explosives. Oh, Pack Howitz are getting a good shot on that Grand Squad. Explosive rounds fly, and down goes a Grand Squad for Mr. Polity. Crew's having a nice little pickup there. 62 to 70 as far as population cap goes, so... You know, relatively even. Polity currently leading in that charge, but... You know... Victory points are 300 to 338, so, you know, that also 
is it's pretty much anybody's game, but currently Polity seeming a little bit stronger. Shot flies into the house, seemingly a white phosphorus round. Yeah, white phosphorus barrage that is going to cook the house essentially. Essentially collapse it as well. Rifles over on the right hand side, catching a Pyo squad way, way, way out of position. Gonna try to run the gauntlet through a lot of LMGs. Not gonna do it as well. There's a lot of LMGs. The uh, the major getting close. Oh, an anti tank gun did go down. It got cleared here in the center as the snipers were able to uh, just simply pick it off without any opposition. Panzer IV currently focusing fire on that one, so that is gonna make it a lot more difficult for Cruz. We'll have to reinvest into an anti tank gun because, well, yeah, it's gonna go down. Hell, even the uh, pack gun got moved up and took a shot. Rear echelon squads moving forward, trying to fight against the snipers. One veteran C3, one veteran C2, 38 and 20 kills. In rear echelon, which is going to get eaten alive here by the snipers. Both snipers, though, do focus on the same entity, though, so that actually makes it so that they are unable to uh, to kill two of the rear echelons as they both shot the same guy. Pack gun is getting circle strafed here by the Sherman. The Sherman does have its high explosive rounds loaded, so it manages to clear it off relatively well. However, it is now getting engaged by the Panzer IV. The Sherman needs to load its uh, main gun with armor-piercing rounds to be able to combat the Panzer IV. Rifles behind it do have a possibility for an anti-tank rifle grenade, and they did actually shoot it, but it didn't actually get the crit on the engine. Sherman trying to move back. It's currently facing its rear uh, to the Panzer IV, which is never good. And the, uh, the rifles, unable to do too much here, are going to be forced to retreat as the pack gun will be falling back into the hands of Polity and wasn't able to get cleared. Snipers were also nearby, waiting around to support, so, you know, if they had actually tried and taking it, the uh, rifle squad could have gotten killed, and the pack gun would have probably gotten killed, or cleared off before they were even able to do anything. Rear echelons should be used here to repair the uh, Sherman and speed it up, but for now they're not going to do that. Grand squad's on the right-hand side. We see the, the rifles trying to capture that point. Not really going to do that. Far right-hand side, rifles are going for the... Uh, not victory, the... Uh, Munitions. They'll be able to cap as nobody is currently engaging them, so that's nice. And the Major has gotten Veteran C3, so again, if it just sets itself up right here, in this strategic point, like right here on the other side of this line, it can actually hold this point without having any need for that. He could go all the way to the edge if he wanted to, just to be more, you know, defensive about it. Or he could go all the way up from here if he wanted to, but yeah, as long as he's on the other side of that line, that point can't be uh, decapped, which, you know, while not exactly pivotal, it, uh, it can help. So Sherman moving up, getting fausted once again by this Grand Squad. Going to get its engine damage. Panzer IV moving up to try to finish it off. Panzer IV finally getting upgraded with its MG on top. Wait, no, that's the second Panzer IV. Wow, Polity actually managing to field two, uh, two vehicles, two tanks with that Doctrine. It's actually kind of impressive. Usually you just dump all your fuel into it because they're just using those... Uh, those things do heavily, but with that Panzer IV itself manages to take out the Sherman. And with that, I think any hope for Cruz really for coming back. He does call in another Sherman, so he at least has that. But he kind of needed to have both Shermans on the field at the same time to be able to combat a single Panzer IV. Now two Panzer IVs against one Sherman. That is not going to end good. Victory points 229 to 338. So Paul currently leading by 100. A little bit more, but that's nice for Oherm. Major on the far left-hand side does go for the victory point, trying to slow that bleed. No, currently nobody is really doing much. Pack Howitzer having to move back as the uh, Major gets hit over here on the left-hand side. It looks like the snipers may have been the ones to uh, deal the killing blow. Sherman does move up, trying to catch the snipers on the retreat, so it looks like Cruz trying to go for, uh, you know, the... <laughs> The honor kill here, trying to kill those uh, snipers at least before he uh, <laughs> before he loses. Uh, Pack gun does get in the way and is getting some shots on the Sherman, but he's going all in. He's gonna go straight for those uh, snipers. Can he finish them off? <laughs> well, one sniper cloaks, the other sniper is cloaking. Sherman unaware where the snipers are. Oh no, it's not even gonna go in that direction. Panzer Force now in hot pursuit of the Sherman. The Sherman is gonna try and get out of there but with a pack gun turning its side on it down goes the Sherman and with that GG well played by Cruz and he calls it quits so 
1-1, to Polity managing to come back in the second game, which means once again we're going to the ace match to see which player continues on in the competition and which one gets knocked out. So anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the game. If you have any positive or negative remarks, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. If you have any replays you want to send me, go ahead and send them to the email that I will put in the description. But otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.